Okay, uh, minor confusion. I left the memory card with all the footage from the last day of the competition in Nice, in London, and flew to Marrakesh. So I'm gonna have to skip that episode, edit that when I get home, show you that guys later. So for the time being, let's skip a day, we're going to Marrakesh. <laughs> Okay, I literally uh, am leaving at 10.30, so I just got back at 10 for my counsel, 10.15 for my counselling appointment. And I'm pretty sure I've forgotten a lot of things, but I've got my passport, my credit card, and that's pretty much all I need. Sort of. You've not been on the... I don't think no, he's been on the video. Time, this is his, his premiere, um, his unveiling. We're at the airport now. This is a really light glass. Really light glass. Uh, on our waiting, waiting at the moment, on our way to getting to the plane at some point soon. I'm knackered. Um, George is feeling great. He's excited. I am, yeah. And my second one. My battery's extremely low, so I will check back whenever I can. Plane now. George has gone to sit uh, at the front to see the see the takeoff. I think I'm going to be there for the landing, so I can show you guys that if my phone, if my camera doesn't run out of battery, I'm going to fall asleep. I'm so tired. <laughs> Just hit move. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. It doesn't move yeah. Side, does it? Yeah, it does. Good guy. Okay. So, so yeah. This is George's yeah. vlog takeover. Yeah, that's my takeover. Sexually harassed in the workplace. <laughs> um, just got to the villa. This is it. So exhausted, so hot. Slept on the plane though, which is quite nice. Um, yeah, basically, just wanted to take a couple of days off um, after the training camp. I thought there's no point in me getting straight back to training, so my family are coming to Marrakesh to our villa, and I was like, hell yeah. So I invited George along, and Josh is going to join us later. I just wanted to get a bit of downtime really because before that I had Pisa then pretty much straight after that I had had um, had the training camp and the competition so I'm just knackered, my arms hurt, my body hurts so I thought a bit of downtime would really do me good. Rest is as important as training. Everyone's like you've got to train loads, 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 loads but actually getting some time to yourself is super important. George and I Got to the pool basically. Uh, it's like six o'clock, so it's not even that sunny. That it's quite sunny. Sunnier than London. Cannot complain. 
<laughs> it's not even like that hot though. We just thought we'd come check out the old pool. That's pretty much it. There's a lot of birds here. Still, there, are a lot of, there are a lot of birds here. <laughs> George is a big fan of nature. Look at my, uh, can you guys see my bruises? From, uh, from fencing. This is why I need a week off. It's completely dignified. It's for the better, the, the, the greater good of my fencing. That's what I keep telling myself. I want to talk a little bit more about rest. Um, because I think it's something that can get really overlooked sometimes. And when you're trying to strive towards a goal, it can be so easy to kind of just think, oh, if I'm chilling out, I'm not actually making progress. And I think it's something that I've had to learn quite quickly uh, with, with the fencing, especially because when you overwork yourself, it's not just a case of working too much and then feeling tired or exhausted, you can actually injure yourself. And I always feel like, I don't know if you guys ever played those games as a kid where you like have a gun that you're shooting or a car that you're driving and, and, and the harder you pushed it, it would have like a kind of overheat zone. And you could always go into the overheat zone and then slowly it would, and, and if you stopped, it would then kind of cool down and then get back to normal. But if you overheat it too much, it would then get to a point where it broke. And I feel that's kind of similar with, um, with fencing and with your body and with sport in general. I always feel like when I go to these camps or when I go to these competitions, you can push yourself, or even in training at home, to a, to a level higher than is comfortable, to where you're actually hurting a little bit, to where, to where you're kind of destroying yourself a bit. And you can almost overheat yourself. And it's fine as long as you don't push it too far because you can always then just cool down like like I did at these, these camps, you know, you, you want to get the most out of it because you're paying for it. you also got this great opportunity of having so many fences around you and you want to make the most of that. So I kind of push myself more than I would usually. I, I work out harder, I push myself faster, I train more than I would usually and, and as a result my wrists, my hands, my back, everything was hurting. And not, I wasn't in pain, I wasn't like, you know, injuring myself but if I kept doing that for the next three weeks then I probably would have sustained an injury. It's, it's the case I said when you overheat, overheat, I think I overheat myself that much. If I'd gone to, to there maybe it would have ended up in an injury but you can do that as long as then you give yourself time to cool down again to, to kind of rest. And I think it's something that like I've, I've noticed so much with people who, um, who are like you know striving towards a goal or to, to work hard or whatever it is it's it's like this kind of no rest grind all the time philosophy and that can often make it seem or your goals seem really unachievable um, I know when I started this whole YouTube thing about a year and a half ago I was like watching a lot of videos of people that are like I hustle every day I'm doing this if you're not working you're a loser work harder do this I wake up brush my teeth while working and it's not reasonable, honestly, it's not. Like, I, I want to just break it down for you guys and can be completely honest about what I do. And, I, you know, I do take breaks. I, I had some personal stuff to deal with recently, and as you guys know, I took a couple of days off. Um, I didn't work and grind and hustle all the time. I kind of just took some time to myself. And, you know, there are times when I, I sleep in. And I sleep until 12, I have a lion, because I'm tired. Um, I also have times when I just go see my friends and hang out like this in Marrakesh and just rest and it's so easy I see a lot of people at, after these competitions and generally that are like you need to work all the time we're gonna go back get straight jump back on the horse no rest for the wicked yeah I get that to an extent and, and I go through phases of just hustling a lot and working really really hard but it's important to kind of realize that sometimes when you take a break uh, it's actually beneficial to your goal that's why like Google and people like that, they put like these sleep pods in their offices. Obviously when the people are sleeping, they're not working, but the benefit of the rest is actually greater than just continual work. So what I'm trying to say is don't be afraid to take some time off sometimes. Don't be afraid to give yourself a little bit of rest and don't feel like you're lazy or you're not working towards your goals or you're not a driven person just because you take a little bit of time off. I think it's like this kind of fallacy that people who hustle and have made sacrifices want to tell everyone how hard they've worked and how difficult it was by telling you that you need to hustle all the time. You can, but you don't need to. 
it's not a hundred percent. I think sometimes you just need to know what's best for you, and if that means taking a rest one day, do it honestly. Anyway, I'm gonna get back to the pool because, like I just said, rest and relaxation is key. <laughs>